The Economic and Social Council is at the heart of the United Nations system to advance the three dimensions of sustainable development, economic, social, and environmental. It is the central platform for fostering debate and innovative thinking, forging consensus on ways forward, and coordinating efforts to achieve internationally agreed goals. It is also responsible for the follow-up to major UN conferences and summits. The UN Charter established ECOSOC in 1945 as one of the six main organs of the United Nations. Coordination within the UN ECOSOC links a diverse family of subsidiary bodies and UN entities, Organigram, dedicated to sustainable development, providing overall guidance and coordination. These include regional economic and social commissions, functional commissions facilitating intergovernmental discussions of major global issues, expert bodies establishing important global normative frameworks, and specialized agencies, programs, and funds at work around the world to translate development commitments into real changes in people's lives. Reforms over the last decade, particularly General Assembly Resolution 68-1, 72-305 and 75-290A, have strengthened ECOSOC's leading role in identifying emerging challenges, promoting innovation, and achieving a balanced integration of the three pillars, economic, social, and environmental of sustainable development. The 2021 review, which was undertaken together with the resolutions on the High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, HLPF, bolstered ECOSOC's charter mandate as a coordinator, convener, and specialized body for policy dialogue, policy-making and forger of consensus towards the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development as well as other major UN-slash-conferences and summits under its purview, the response to the COVID-19 pandemic and to address other major global challenges and new issues. Resolution 75-290A thus strengthened the coordination role of the Council, and it also reinforced its deliberative nature. Furthermore, Resolution 75-290A and 75-290B enhanced the coordination between the work of ECOSOC and the HLPF. Partnership with the rest of the world Building on its coordination role within the UN system, ECOSOC is a gateway for UN partnership and participation by the rest of the world. It offers a unique global meeting point for productive dialogues among policymakers, parliamentarians, academics, foundations, businesses, youth, and 3,200-plus registered non-governmental organizations. A Spotlight on Global Issues Each year, ECOSOC structures its work around an annual theme of global importance to sustainable development. This ensures focused attention, among ECOSOC's array of partners, and throughout the UN development system. By emphasizing combined economic, social, and environmental concerns, ECOSOC encourages agreement on coherent policies and actions that make fundamental links across all three. ECOSOC's annual high-level segment includes High-Level Political Forum provides political leadership, guidance, and recommendations for sustainable development, and reviews progress in implementing sustainable development commitments. High-level segment, held on an annual basis, represents the culmination of ECOSOC's annual cycle of work and convenes a diverse group of high-level representatives from government, the private sector, civil society, and academia. Other segments, forums, and meetings encompass. Segment. Coordination segment promotes the work of subsidiary bodies of ECOSOC and the UN system to implement the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Humanitarian Affairs Segment strengthens coordination of UN humanitarian efforts. Operational Activities for Development Segment provides overall guidance for UN funds and programs. Management Segment reviews reports of ECOSOC subsidiary and expert bodies, promotes UN system coordination on development issues, and considers special country or regional concerns. Forums Development Cooperation Forum reviews trends and progress in development cooperation. Multi-stakeholder forum on science, technology, and innovation for the sustainable development goals discusses science, technology and innovation cooperation around thematic areas for the implementation of the sustainable development goals, 
congregating all relevant stakeholders to actively contribute in their area of expertise. Youth Forum brings youth voices into discussions on global policy making on development issues of the day. Partnership Forum encourages collaboration among governments, businesses and foundations, non-governmental organizations, academia and parliamentarians. Forum on Financing for Development follow-up reviews the Addis Ababa Action Agenda, other financing for development outcomes and the means of implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals (SDGs). Meetings ECOSOC Special Meeting on International Cooperation in Tax Matters provides an opportunity to address emerging issues of tax policy and administration. Special meetings to address global development emergencies or crises, to raise awareness and to serve as a high-level policy platform for coordination of actors working on a specific situation. ECOSOC oversees a complex ecosystem of subsidiary bodies, composed of regional commissions, functional commissions and expert bodies, standing committees and ad hoc bodies. The Council is entrusted to guide and coordinate the work of its subsidiary and related bodies. It thus has an influence on a wide remit of the work of the UN system on development. The United Nations Economic and Social Council ECOSOC, is one of the six principal organs of the United Nations, responsible for coordinating the economic and social fields of the organization, specifically in regards to the 15 specialized agencies, the eight functional commissions, and the five regional commissions under its jurisdiction. ECOSOC serves as the central forum for discussing international economic and social issues, and formulating policy recommendations addressed to member states and the United Nations system. It has 54 members. In addition to a rotating membership of 54 UN member states, over 1,600 non-governmental organizations have consultative status with the Council to participate in the work of the United Nations. ECOSOC holds one four-week session each year in July, and since 1998 has also held an annual meeting in April with finance ministers of heading key committees of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF. Additionally, the High-Level Political Forum HLPF, which reviews the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, is convened under the auspices of the Council every July. The President of the United Nations Economic and Social Council is the presiding officer of that body. The position voted for by members of the United Nations Economic and Social Council ECOSOC, on a yearly basis. The Economic and Social Council elects a new bureau, a president, and four vice presidents, at the first meeting of the new session of the Council, typically in July. These officials are chosen at large from among the representatives of the Council's members for one-year terms. Members of Bureau hold office until their successors are elected by the Council at the next session. According to the rules of procedure of the Council, the election of members to the Bureau includes special regard for equitable geographic rotation among the United Nations regional groups. For instance, the presidency of the Council rotates between the five regions, and along with it the vice presidencies. The role of president of the council involves opening and closing meetings of the body, presiding over the proceedings of the council, steering the work of the body, maintaining order and ensuring observance of the rules of procedure at all times, and, if need be, calling emergency sessions of the body. The president also usually speaks to the press on behalf of the council. The President of the Council is elected for a one-year term and chosen from the small or medium-sized states represented on the Council at the beginning of each new session. The Presidency rotates among the United Nations regional groups to ensure equal representation. Paula Narvaez, representative of Chile, was elected as the 79th President of the Council on July 27, 2023. She succeeded Laches Aristoeva who was elected as the 78th President of the Council on July 25, 2022, succeeding Colin Vixen Kilopile of Botswana. The Council consists of 54 member states, which are elected yearly by the General Assembly for overlapping three-year terms. Seats on the Council are allocated ensuring equitable geographic rotation among the United Nations regional groups. Outgoing members are eligible for immediate re-election, and some seats are held by de facto permanent members. 
in 1945 when the United Nations Charter was originally signed, the Economic and Social Council consisted of 18 seats. The formal concept of the United Nations regional groups did not yet exist, and unlike the Security Council, there was no gentleman's agreement between the superpowers to assign ECOSOC seats. Regardless, with four exceptions out of 102 elections, a relatively stable pattern emerged and held until 1960. Five seats to the permanent five of the UNSC. Four seats to Latin America. Two seats to Eastern Europe. One seat to the British Commonwealth. Three seats to the Near and Far East. Three seats to Western Europe. As the number of United Nations members grew with decolonization, the pattern began to break down starting in 1961, with nations in Africa winning elections to seats formerly held by Western Europe and the Republic of China, Taiwan. In 1965, the charter was amended to increase the size of ECOSOC to 27 seats, and the regional groups were formally introduced. The seat distribution became seven seats to the African group, five seats to the Asian group, three seats to the Eastern European group, five seats to the Latin American and Caribbean group, seven seats to the Western European and others group. In 1973, the charter was amended again to increase the size of ECOSOC to 54 seats. The seat distribution became 14 seats to the African group, 11 seats to the Asia-Pacific group, renamed from the Asia group in 2011, 6 seats to the Eastern European group, 10 seats to the Latin American and Caribbean group, 13 seats to the Western European and others group. Observer Intergovernmental Autonomous Organizations Participation on a Continuing Basis African Regional Center of Technology Asian and Pacific Development Center Asian Productivity Organization Council of Arab Economic Unity Global Water Partnership Helsinki Commission Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture Intergovernmental Forum on Mining, Minerals, Metals, and Sustainable Development. Intergovernmental Institution for the Use of Microalgae Spirulina Against Malnutrition. International Association of Economic and Social Councils and Similar Institutions. International Center for Public Enterprises in Developing Countries. International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology. Islamic Educational. Scientific and Cultural Organization Latin American Energy Organization Organization of Ibero-American States Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries Regional Organization for the Protection of the Marine Environment Union de Conciles Economics et Socios Africains West African Economic and Monetary Union World Deserts Foundation Participation on an Ad Hoc Basis African Accounting Council African Cultural Institute Arab Security Studies and Training Center Council of Arab Ministers of the Interior International Bauxite Association International Civil Defense Organization Latin American Social Sciences Institute The following are the active functional commission of the Council Commission on Narcotic Drugs, CND Commission on Population and Development, CPD. Commission on Science and Technology for Development, CSTD. Commission on the Status of Women, CSW. Statistical Commission. Commission for Social Development, CSOCD. Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice, CCPCJ. Forum on Forests, UNFF. The following commissions were disbanded by the Council and replaced by other bodies. Commission on Human Rights, UNCR. Disbanded in 2006 and replaced by the United Nations Human Rights Council, UNRC, a subsidiary organ of the General Assembly. Commission on Sustainable Development, CSD. Disbanded in 2013 and replaced by the High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, HLPF, a joint subsidiary body of the General Assembly and ECOSOC. 
The following are the active regional commissions of the Council. United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, ECE. United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, ECA. United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC. United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, ESCAP. United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia, ESQUE. The following are some of the other bodies that the Council oversees in some capacity. Committee for Program and Coordination, CPC. Committee on Non-Governmental Organizations. Committee on Negotiations with Intergovernmental Agencies. Committee for Development Policy, CDP. Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, CESCR. Committee of Experts on Global Geospatial Information Management, on GGIM. Committee of Experts on International Cooperation in Tax Matters. Committee of Experts on Public Administration, CEPA. Committee of Experts on the Transport of Dangerous Goods and the Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals. Group of Experts on Geographical Names, UNGAN. Intergovernmental Working Group of Experts on International Standards of Accounting and Reporting. Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, UNFI. System Chief Executives Board for Coordination, CEB. High Level Committee on Management, HLCM. High Level Committee on Programs, HLCP. The specialized agencies of the United Nations are autonomous organizations working within the United Nations system, meaning that while they report their activities to the Economic and Social Council, they are mostly free to their own devices. Each agency must negotiate with the Council as to what their relationship will look and work like. This leads to a system where different organizations maintain different types of relationships with the Council. Some were created before the United Nations existed and were integrated into the system, others were created by the League of Nations and were integrated by its successor, while others were created by the United Nations itself to meet emerging needs. The following is a list of the specialized agencies reporting to the Council. Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD. International Labor Organization, ILO. International Monetary Fund, IMF. International Maritime Organization, IMO. International Telecommunication Union, ITU. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO. United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO. Universal Postal Union, UPU. World Bank Group, WBG. International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, IBRD. International Development Association, IDA. International Finance Corporation, IFC. Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency, MEGA. International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, ICSID. World Health Organization, WHO. World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. World Meteorological Organization, WMO. In a report issued in early July 2011, the UN called for spending nearly two US dollars trillion on green technologies to prevent what it termed a major planetary catastrophe, warning that it is rapidly expanding energy use, mainly driven by fossil fuels, that explains why humanity is on the verge of breaching planetary sustainability boundaries through global warming, biodiversity loss, and disturbance of the nitrogen cycle balance and other measures of the sustainability of the Earth's ecosystem. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon added, rather than viewing growth and sustainability as competing goals on a collision course, we must see them as complementary and mutually supportive imperatives. The report concluded that business as usual is not an option. The governance of the multilateral system has historically been complex and fragmented. This has limited the capacity of ECOSOC to influence international policies in trade, finance, and investment. 
reform proposals aim to enhance the relevance and contribution of the Council. A major reform was approved by the 2005 World Summit based on proposals submitted by Secretary-General Kofi Annan. The summit aimed to establish ECOSOC as a quality platform for high-level engagement among member states and with international financial institutions, the private sector, and civil society on global trends, policies, and action. It resolved to hold biennial high-level development cooperation forums at the national leadership level, transforming the high-level segment of the Council to review trends in international development cooperation and promote greater coherence in development activities. At the summit it was also decided to hold annual ministerial-level substantive reviews to assess progress in achieving internationally agreed-on development goals, particularly the Millennium Development Goals. These annual ministerial reviews will be replaced by the high-level political forum from 2016 onwards after the new post-MDG-slash-post-2015 Sustainable Development Goals are agreed upon. Subsequent proposals by the high-level panel report on system-wide coherence in November 2006 aimed to establish a forum within the ECOSOC as a counter-model to the exclusive clubs of the G8 and G20. The forum was to comprise 27 heads of state, L27, corresponding to half of ECOSOC's membership, to meet annually and provide international leadership in the development area. This proposal however, was not approved by the General Assembly. The Economic and Social Council Chamber in the United Nations Conference Building was a gift from Sweden. It was conceived by Swedish architect Sven Marklius, one of the 11 architects in the international team that designed the UN headquarters. Wood from Swedish pine trees was used in the delegates area for the railings and doors. The pipes and ducts in the ceiling above the public gallery were deliberately left exposed, the architect believed that anything useful could be left uncovered. The unfinished ceiling is a symbolic reminder that the economic and social work of the United Nations is never finished, there will always be something more that can be done to improve living conditions for the world's people. The United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, UNDESA, is part of the United Nations Secretariat and is responsible for the follow-up to major United Nations summits and conferences, as well as services to the United Nations Economic and Social Council and the Second and Third Committees of the United Nations General Assembly. UNDESA assists countries around the world in agenda-setting and decision-making with the goal of meeting their economic, social, and environmental challenges. It supports international cooperation to promote sustainable development for all, having as a foundation the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, as adopted by the UN General Assembly on September 25, 2015. In providing a broad range of analytical products, policy advice, and technical assistance, UNDESA effectively translates global commitments in the economic, social, and environmental spheres into national policies and actions and continues to play a key role in monitoring progress towards internationally agreed-upon development goals. It is also a member of the United Nations Development Group. Since 2007, leadership positions in UNDESA have been held by representatives from the People's Republic of China. UNDESA has been used to promote China's Belt and Road Initiative. The United Nations Economic and Social Council has 54 member states which are elected by the United Nations General Assembly for three-year terms, with terms ending on December 31st of the third year. Terms are staggered so that 18 members are elected each year. Seats on the Council are based on the United Nations regional groups, with 14 seats allocated to the African group, 11 to the Asia-Pacific group, 6 to the Eastern European group, 10 to the Latin American and Caribbean group, and 13 to the Western European and others group. Unlike the UN Security Council, outgoing members are eligible for immediate re-election. Like the Security Council, getting elected to a seat requires a two-thirds majority vote, so it is possible for two candidates to deadlock with approximately half the vote each, needing negotiations to resolve. The original UN Charter stated that the Economic and Social Council consisted of 18 seats. Thank you for watching this video.